In this video, we see a second type of problem based on one one function. In the previous video and the previous video to that too, we had studied how to identify whether a function is one one or not. And on the basis of that, we studied one example for the same. In this video, we have the second problem in continuation to that concept. Let's read the problem and then let's think which method to apply to solve this question. The function given to me is of a cosine function that is cos x function, a trigonometric one. What is the range, domain, codomain? Let's see. The domain is 0 to pi. That means it is 0 to 180 degrees. So cos 0 to 180 is only in our approach and thinking. We don't have to think beyond it. And what is the codomain? It is all real. Okay. The function is cos x. You are to find out whether it is 1, 1 or not. The same question comes in my mind. Which method to apply? The first was graphical method. And we all know the graph of cos x. So what would be better than drawing a simple graph out of the same? So let's see how to solve the problem. This is x axis, this is y axis. I know cos 0 is what? Cos 0 degree is equal to 1. Cos 90 degree is equal to 0. And cos 180 degree is also equal to cos 90 degree plus 90 degree. We know how to split. We know that cos 180 is equal to cos 90 plus 90. Now cos 90 plus theta is what? It is minus sine theta. Cos 90 plus something. You know the quadrant that we started in our junior classes? This is the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. First, second, third, fourth, the quadrants go in this manner. First quadrant has all positive, second has sin positive, cosecant positive, third has tan positive, cotangent positive and fourth has cos and secant positive. I write it for you also in this diagram. The first will have all positive. The second has sine cosec positive. The third has tan cot positive. And the fourth has cos sec positive. Let's move back to the graph. We want to draw the graph for the same. This line should be a bit straight. Let's make it more beautiful. The x axis should be straighter. You can always draw it with a ruler. We just want to learn the concept. Now, the cos 0 value is 1. So my graph starts from 1. Suppose this is 1. And then here it is 0 degree. Then somewhere here it is 90 degree. That is pi by 2. And somewhere beyond it for the same distance is pi. That is 180 degrees. We have some intermediate values also, cos 30 degree, cos 45 degree. By putting all those values along with this value, my graph would get the shape as something like this. This can always be made more accurate, more precise with all the readings taken, with the ruler, with some curvilinear pointed pencils. So basically the graph has something of this shape. Now what I want to show you here is we want to check whether it is 1, 1 or not. So we draw a line parallel to the x-axis. I draw a line parallel to the x-axis. Now this line cuts the graph in how many points? It cuts the graph at only one point. Since in graphical method we understood that the technique is to draw the graph, then to draw a line parallel to the x-axis and if it cuts the line with the graph at only one point, it is 1, 1. So this function is 1, 1 function. Hence in this video we studied with the help of a problem how to check whether a graph is 1, 1 or not using graph. 